Is it the replacer for track spacer? Let's take a look at Sonable's Pure on Mask. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pure Unmask is the latest AI-powered addition to the Pure lineup. Its job is to reduce conflicts between tracks competing in the same frequency space, causing masking, giving one track priority over another by way of spectral processing. In this example, I want the lead vocals to not clash as much with the guitars. To do this, we need to set up Pure Unmask on the target track we would like to be affected, in this case the guitars. Next, we need to set up the sidechain input. In Cubase, this is easy to do, we can activate it from the top, and in this case, we're going to assign the vocal track as our sidechain input. In the center here, I'm going to choose from the profile list, vocals. It's important to select the profile that represents what the sidechain input is going to be. Next, we need to play the track back and click this learn button and the plugin will analyze both signals and determine a setting to help unmask any frequencies and provide more space for the vocals. Cause look at you, starting from the stage. And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't care If everything falls apart Look at you Cause look at you Starting from the stand the same And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't so this big knob in the middle allows us to increase the amount of processing that's happening or decrease the amount. By default, you might find it's a little bit too aggressive, so you will need to dial it back to find a sweet spot. Next is the resolution settings. There are three different ones to choose from, low, mid, and high. And these will affect the curve that's used to apply the reduction. Cause look at you. Same. And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't care So you can see the low setting is more of a shelf Let's try mid Cause look at you Starting from the stand the same And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't care Mid is more of a bell curve. Let's try high. Cause look at you Starting from the stand the same And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't You can see with the high setting there's a lot more going on and it's a little bit more precise than the other two resolution settings. At the bottom, we have our speed control, and this determines how fast or how slow the ducking effect is applied. Let's take a listen to it at some different settings. Cause look at you, starting from the stand the same, and look at me, growing older but nothing's changed, and I don't care. Cause look at you Starting from the stand the same And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't care If everything falls apart At the bottom here we also have a range setting so we can tell the plugin where to focus more um, and apply this processing to. Cause look at you Starting from the stand the same And look at me Growing older but nothing's changed And I don't care 
Some of you watching this may already own a plugin called Trackspacer by Waves Factory. A similar product released long before the conception of Pure Unmask. However, unlike Trackspacer, Pure Unmask seems to come up a little bit short by comparison. The pros of Pure Unmask are, it's extremely quick to work with, achieves good results quickly with less mixing knowledge required, and also cheaper than Trackspacer. Trackspacer is £52 sterling when it's not on offer. Currently, Pure Unmask is on its introductory pricing of £25, then after the intro it will go back to its regular price of £39. So what are the cons of Pure Unmask? Well, let's list them. Having both attack and release baked into the speed control is a little bit limiting, and even at the fastest setting, I find the release is a little bit on the slow side. It'd be nice to have these separate. There's no makeup gain controls, and you don't have control over where the processing is applied in the stereo field. You can't just apply this to the left channel, right channel, or the mid and side channels. And sometimes the suggested settings can be a little bit on the aggressive side and you will need to dial them back. In comparison, Trackspacer provides the same level of control minus the curve resolution settings, but you can apply processing to the stereo field as you see fit. So if you want it to work more in the left channel or the right channel or the mids and sides or just the stereo field in general, then you can, which is a really, really useful thing to have. However, for those of you who own Trackspacer or pricier alternatives such as Soothe 2, there's no real reason to pick up this plugin in my opinion, but that's for you to decide. Overall, despite my criticisms, I still think it's a decent plugin. If you're new to mixing or a songwriter or a video editor in need of something quick and easy to work with, you can't really go wrong with Pure Unmask. Pure Unmask is also included with Sonable's Pure Bundle, which is a very powerful set of tools. Definitely worth checking out if your focus is more so getting on with creative tasks and not getting bogged down by the technical mixing tasks. If you'd like to support this channel by purchasing this plugin or some of the other plugins available, there are some affiliate links in the description box below. But before you buy anything, always make sure you try it out first. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video.